If you saw my last video showing off the new Steam Deck Families Beta, you were probably excited to add your family and friends to your Steam family and share each other's games. When the service first came out, there were no real requirements. The other person could be easily invited, and when they accepted, all was good. But in the Steam Families FAQ, they clearly state that Steam Families is intended for a household of up to six close family members. To that end, we expect the requirements for participating in a Steam Family to change over time as we monitor its usage and add requirements to keep usage in line with this intent. Well, it seems they have been monitoring our usage and decided that too many people weren't acting in the spirit of this new feature, that is, for a household of close family members. I knew it was too good to be true, and it was. Now, if you invite someone not inside your household, you will get this error message. Failed to accept the family invite, you are ineligible as your Steam activity does not indicate you are in the same household. Details of how this is determined aren't public knowledge, but you don't need a network engineering degree to figure it out. Simply put, everyone in the same network is all hailing from the same ISP assigned IP address. So while inside your network, all devices are given an internal address like 10.1.1.234, when any of the devices reach out to the outside, every single call is from your public IP address, which may be something like 68.232.12.132. Steam can tell who is coming from that address and who isn't. As such, they can be pretty sure you're trying to add someone that is not inside your household. We know Steam is onto us all. After all, it isn't Steam families and friends, right? But even if you're trying to abide to the letter of the law, so to speak, you could have a son or daughter in college staying at a dorm and you would like to share your games with your close family. Now that's Steam's words, not mine. Let's look at a couple of ways you may be able to get around this. Before we go on, I am not condoning letting friends or even strangers willing to pay you the privilege of sharing your games. Steam doesn't want you doing this, and the video here isn't permission implied or otherwise that this is okay behavior. Let's take a legit scenario, even if Steam doesn't think it is, such as sharing your games from your home with your son in a college dorm, could be down the street, could be across the world, but locations can make this workaround easier. Workaround number one, call them home. Anyone that you are trying to share with may not be able to accept the invitation unless Steam sees the original IP address you matches up with the invitee's IP address when they try to accept. Easy enough, tell them to bring the device home with Steam Deck on it and have them get on your network so you can both have the same public IP. Then have them accept the invite. You may have to do the invite again if for some reason your home IP address changed since you issued the invite. There are users on Reddit that claim this process works, but I warn you with peace and love, peace and love, Steam isn't so easily fooled. While you may get through it right now, it wouldn't shock me if sometime in the future Steam rechecked for compliance and adherence and kicks that person out of your family. Workaround 2. Share your account info. God knows this is a terrible idea, but if you're close family members after all, having your son at the dorm give you his Steam account password shouldn't be a big deal, right? Make sure he is logged out of Steam in his dorm, and with his login and password, exit Steam from your computer or device in your home and sign into Steam with your son's account information. Once you get logged in, you should be able to accept the invite you sent to him. Then sign out and sign back in as yourself. Now have your son sign in and confirm he is part of the family. Workaround number three, remote access. This is what we had to resort to in the dark ages of Steam sharing, actually remoting the PC of the person you wanted to add, log into Steam on his computer with your credentials, and authorize the share. It's terrible. However, this technique would probably be necessary if the parties involved don't want to give up their credentials and your son in this case, isn't close enough to drop by the house with his laptop to get the share accepted. With this workaround, one party will remote access the other person's PC, numerous ways to do this, like any deck or other remote tools, leave a comment if you need a recommendation, and sign into the PC's copy of Steam remotely. Then either issue or accept the invite, and Steam will see the address is the same and should let the transaction finish. 
No matter which workaround you try, and even if it works today, Valve has no obligation to continue to allow you to share your games in the future. Enjoy the ride while you can, and be ready to have the rug pulled out from under you at some point. Listen, if you like what you saw, please like the video down below, and if my content's worthy, I'll work hard to always earn your sub. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching, and take care. We'll see you next time.